Hey, alright, I just wanted to talk to you guys really quick about, um, reverse, I want to call it, I don't want to call it reverse abuse, but, um, I was watching this guy once on TikTok and he was talking about something called reactionary, um, abuse or whatever, so let's just get into it. Have you ever hit, punched, yelled at, threw something at the narc? And after you did so, did you ever sit and wonder, like, damn, am I, like, the problem? Am I the abuser? No, you're not. Um, I already know that. Let me try to make this quick because it's a short video. But let's go back really quickly, even though it's played out, to Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's case, right? There was one point in that case where he talked about how he... Um, would walk away from her and she would follow him, right? How many times did you tell that narcissist that you, in the midst of an argument, by the way, let's make that clear. Look, I'm just going to go in the other room. In my case, it was the bathroom. I'm just going to go in the bathroom so I can, like, calm down, chill out. We'll, we, we can come back and talk about this later. What did they do? Did they respect your space? Fuck no, they didn't respect your space. Hello? Right? They followed you. And not only did they follow you physically, right? They followed you talking shit the whole time. And not just regular ass shit talking. They said some of the most hurtful things you've ever heard in your entire life. Which is hard to achieve because we live in the world, right? And the world's nasty, you know? For them to be able to pull those kind of phrases and words out of their ass and say it to you, uh, that's, those are just things you don't forget. I can, I can guarantee you there's at least one thing that Narc said to you. I have some things which I won't repeat because they're that gross. I mean like so gross that I just, I can't even let that slide out of my mouth. But that the ex-Narc said to me right that you just never the fuck forget it's impossible to forget it hence the reason why kids with abusive parents grow up remembering those things you know what i'm saying and trying to um become better people in spite of what those things were said about them the bible even says like watch watch you know the power of the tongue life and death is in the power of the tongue so something somebody can speak some things on you you know what i'm saying Let's go forward, though. Did you ever end up, um, I want to say being forced to physically fight the narcissist? Were you ever forced to? Were you ever literally like a cat backed up into a corner until you had to scratch that attacker just to get out of the corner? And then later on, accused of being an abusive piece of shit yourself, right? Well, you're an abusive piece of shit, right? Here is an analogy for you. The way the narc treats someone trying to get away from them during an argument to go cool off is equivalent to me um, as if, say, you're a hiker. You're a douchebag hiker, and you're hiking through the mountains, and you come up on a mountain lion. Now, of course, you know this mountain lion's more dangerous than you, but you're cocky, right? So, you're like, ah, to it, and it hiss at you, right? And it goes up to a low branch, a low-hanging branch on a tree. Now, that mountain lion didn't eat you, right? What it did was it gave you a warning in the form of a hiss. Much like you give the narc a warning, a warning in the form of words, right? Like, please leave me alone. I just need to go chill. Let me go off to the side. We can handle this later. I just need some space. And so as this backtracking, as this hiker, you ignore that shit. And what you do is you grab the biggest, most funky looking stick you can find and you walk over to that low hanging branch that this mountain lion has decided to retreat to as opposed to eating you. And you just stick it and poke it and jab it so many times. Ah, and finally it mauls the fuck out of your bitch ass. Is that mountain lion wrong? No, it's not wrong. You know why? Because it, at least it gave 
that hiker that's gross as fuck a warning like please leave me alone right how many times has a narcissist abused you for so long and you've bottled it up for so long and you try to keep your cool for so long and then you have that one major argument to where it doesn't even have to be major but it's major in a sense that this time when you had that argument and you walked away and they followed you talking shit, you finally popped off. That has happened to me. I actually got arrested for it. That's a whole nother story. But what I'll say is it was very gross um, being provoked on repeat, much like that mountain light. Eventually, it's going to be like, you know what? No matter where I go, you're going to follow me. I may as well fight. I have to fight, and, and that hiker gets mauled. That douchebag hiker gets mauled. But what happens? Some Mounties come out and shoot the mountain lion because all they see is that it mauled this hiker. When what, it, what they didn't see is that the hiker had been poking it with a stick after that mountain lion fired off a warning hiss, right? Anyway, I know this is like a touchy subject, but I really want to touch base on that because, I mean, a lot of people sat down, at least like myself, I don't care. I mean, you may not want to admit it, but I'm admitting it. Fuck it, right? I've sat down once and been like, oh my God, am I the abuser? Am I like the toxic one? What is going on? Is it me? Oh my God. And if you've ever questioned yourself and asked yourself, am I the toxic narcissist? Then no, you're not. You know why? The fact that you even asked yourself that question makes you not a narcissist. How does that work? Because a narcissist loves doing bad shit to people. They enjoy it. They feed on it. That's their food. They don't sit down and ask themselves, Oh my God, am I toxic? Was I right to hit that person? No, they don't ask yourself that. My narc put me on my stomach at seven months pregnant and choked me out to where I couldn't breathe, to where I had to try to gasp for air and, and beg him to let me breathe because I was, I was gasping, we have a baby, right? My narc, while pregnant, waited till I was in the bathtub and forced my head underwater until I was almost dead to drown me. So yeah, when I finally fucked his ass up, then I go to jail because, and the only reason I went to jail is because I was honest and admitted to the police. He antagonized me, followed me to the bathroom, and I finally pushed him. I pushed him. So they go, okay, you pushed him, that's assault. And then they left my two kids in the house with that abusive narc. Gross, right? To spend a night in jail knowing your narc's in there with two children that they hate. Anyway, yes, so um, if you ever question whether or not you were the abuser, you're not. The fact that you stuck around trying to help somebody, you're not. And the fact that you even asked yourself whether or not you're the abuser or you felt bad, you're not. You know what I'm saying? But there is such a thing as provoked, like, I won't call it provoked violence because it's not all the way violent. But I can say um, reactionary abuse, and I hate even calling it abuse. It's self-defense a lot of times. So if you've ever felt like it was you, it's not. I just wanted to clear that up. All right. Love you guys. Happy 